Hello and welcome to Vibrant Lives Podcast. I'm your host, Amanda Hayes, a lawyer turned nutrition scientist. Today's episode is just a short update of where I'm at with my podcast. First of all, I'd like to thank you so much if you've taken the time to listen to my podcast since I first started it four years ago in 2019. I've decided to take a break from podcasting for six months and reassess whether to continue with Vibrant Lives podcast at that point. In making that decision, I'll be pondering whether Vibrant Lives podcast has been a success. And that depends. It depends on how you measure success. So I thought I'd start with some comments on the goals that I don't think I've kicked. In terms of gaining a wide audience, I haven't really managed to do that. However, I do have a small but loyal band of followers who have given me some encouraging feedback over the years. So thank you if you're one of them. In order to really grow a podcast, first you need an excellent product. I think mine ticks this box thanks to my guests. Otherwise, I wouldn't have persisted for so long. Secondly, you need to get the word out there. And I think I've failed pretty miserably on this front. Marketing and social media are way outside my expertise and several people have encouraged me to invest in this area by outsourcing it to experts, but for whatever reasons, I just haven't done it. In terms of generating an income, this has been another partial failure on my part. Some kind people have made donations along the way, and I do really appreciate that. However, there are ways that you can make a living in podcasting, and some people are really brilliant at it. For example, my all-time favorite Rich Roll is the goat. According to other measures, here are some goals that I think I have kicked. I've learned a new skill and placed myself deeply outside my comfort zone. I'm an introvert, so I'm happiest reading about a topic rather than interviewing someone about it. I get nervous every time I interview someone, but the nerves do settle quickly once the conversation starts. I'm a complete Luddite when it comes to technology, so learning how to record, edit and upload a podcast has been difficult for me, but really rewarding also. I have met and chatted with some truly amazing people and I've felt inspired so many times along the way. I've actually been thoroughly heartened by how many people say yes when I request an interview. It was pretty close to 100%. Well, if it's so rewarding then... Why am I taking a break? There are two main reasons. The first one I think has a solution, but the second reason doesn't have a solution, at least not one that I can see. First of all, investing hours researching, recording and editing behind the scenes. It was close to a full-time job when I was producing one episode per week. Feels a little bit like an uphill battle when only several hundred people tune in. The solution is to constantly improve my product and I don't doubt and also to outsource my marketing and take a leap into the YouTube format. Um, Honestly, I just don't have the energy to do that at the moment. Secondly, and this is the one I don't think has a solution, it's quite a lonely existence. Apart from a few breaks after each child and to study, I've always worked in an organization with other people and I miss that sense of shared purpose and even just being in a space away from home and with colleagues. So being stuck in my own head all day, every day, it's a bit wearing. So I feel like I've given Vibrant Lives podcast a good shot. It's time to reflect for a while and perhaps see what else is out there, or if I really miss it, come back to it with renewed purpose and enthusiasm. All of my podcasts will still be available to listen to on all the popular platforms like Apple Podcasts and Spotify, so please do check them out. The best place to find an interview or a topic that interests you is on the episodes page of my website at vibrantlivespodcast.com. So farewell for now, and I'll check back in with you in November. Eat well, move well, think well, live vibrantly.